Hello, welcome to this video. In this video, I'm going to talk about security group. So what is the role of a security group in AWS and how it controls access to your EC2 instance and other resources in AWS? So security group is a set of rules defined at network security level. Uh, this basically controls the traffic to your EC2 instance. What is the traffic that is allowed to connect to your EC2 instance? And what is the traffic that is allowed from your EC2 instance to talk to the internet? So I have a diagrammatic representation to show you, just to give you a basic understanding of uh, how it works. Okay, so if you see this diagram here, uh, the one end user represented here, he is initiating a connection to talk to the EC2 instance, which is a Linux machine. So for talking to the Linux machine, we need to have an SSH port 22 open. So we have a security group defined in your AWS and this security group has a port 22 open. Then only any inbound connection that comes to the EC2 instance is allowed. So if this 22 port is not open, then it will restrict the connection to go through and you, the connection will not be successful. Okay, so that is how the inbound connection is working because basically the security group is a set of rules where you define inbound rules and outbound rules. So if you define an inbound rule which has a 22 port open, then only you have a successful connection to your EC2 instance. Now, let us talk about the outbound connection. So if you are if you are initiating a connection at EC2 instance to talk to the internet and the security group should allow all traffic if you have to talk to the internet. So you have an outbound connection which specified in security group that it, it can talk to the internet then it allows all the traffic at the security group. So basically with both these uh, diagrammatic representation you should understand a security group is a security layer at the network which allows traffic to your EC2 instance based on the rules that you have defined if it is inbound rule you have to specify particular ports if it is outbound ports uh, outbound rule you have to specify what traffic is allowed to the internet okay now let me switch on to the Amazon console and I will show you how to demonstrate this okay so I am onto my Amazon console I am going to see what is my running instance so this is my running instance for any EC2 instance when you are defining and when you are provisioning you will assign a security group and for this instance the security group assigned is this one so if you see here, this is the security group assigned for this instance. Now I'm going to this security group and see what are the ports open, what are the inbound and outbound rules defined. So when I come to the security group, you have the inbound rules tab and also you have outbound rules tab. So in inbound rules tab, you have the rules defined here, which tells what is the source what is the what are the connections that are allowed to talk to the EC2 instance and similarly when it comes to the outbound rules you will define what is the traffic that I can talk to from EC2 instance so basically the security group is a uh, rules defined inbound and outbound rules so that is how you will control your traffic to your EC2 instance okay now with this uh, configuration i should be able to talk to my uh, connect to my ec2 instance so let me access my ec2 instance and try to connect to the public ip so this is uh, my public ip to connect to so i should be able to connect to this public ip i copy this public ip and let me access my uh, terminal Okay, so this is my terminal where I'm going to um, connect to the EC2 instance. So the syntax is SSH, SSH, I, 
and this is the key that I have downloaded earlier and you are going to use EC2 user it. Okay. So now I am able to successfully connect to this EC2 instance using my key because the port 22 is allowed. Now I am coming out of this session. Uh, let me sh demonstrate if uh, the port 22 is not open whether I am able to connect to the EC2 instance. Now let me go back to the console. Okay. So, I am in my console. Now, I am going to remove the inbound rule. This is my security group and I have two inbound rules and I am going to delete these two rules. Save this. So, now I do not have any inbound rules. That means I am restricting access to my EC2 instance. Okay. If you come to security and you do not have any inbound rules here. So if you see here in this, in this section, this section is empty. So you do not have any inbound rules. Now let me try to connect to the instance using terminal. So this is my terminal. Now I am trying to use the same syntax and it still uh, says that it will not allow me to connect to the EC2 instance. It just times out. So that proves that uh, I need to have <coughs> an, sorry, uh, an uh, inbound connection on SSH port 22 in order to connect it to my Linux machine. So if it is a Windows machine, you should have an appropriate port open at uh, security group to connect to your EC2 instance. So that is how you will control of the traffic which can be connected to the EC2 instance using security group. So, hope uh, that uh, gives some idea about security groups in AWS. Uh, thanks for watching this video. If you have any questions, please uh, post them in the comments. And if you did not subscribe my channel, please subscribe for any future updates uh, from me. Uh, thanks for watching this video.